Hello guys, kamusta kayong lahat? At welcome back dito sa May Art Life. At for today's episode, I'll be sharing with you my Crayola Art Materials Collection. So as you can see here, medyo marami yung items na ipapakita ko sa inyo today. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so eto na. Ang unang item na ipapakita ko sa inyo ay itong uh, Crayola poster color. And I believe I, I have all of the colors na available dito sa uh, Crayola poster color set na to. Dahil binili ko siya sa uh, Amspec store sa Shopee. So it's uh, a direct seller. And um, kinuha ko lahat yung available colors. And so far nakikita ko rin to sa National Bookstore. Meron na silang available. I think that's around 35 pesos yata per bottle. And yung bottle niya is uh, 59 ml. Oo nga pala guys, um, habang pinapakita ko sa inyo yung mga available colors na nabili ko, um, I'd also like to let you know na hindi to sponsored ng Crayola. Itong mga items na papakita ko today, it's either binili ko personally or bigay siya ng friends or family. Alright, so let's move on to our next item. And ito, gulat kaya no? Crayons. Yes, uh, the very basic crayons. Alam ko, we have used this ever since nasa grade school. And actually, hanggang ngayon, gumagamit pa rin ako ng crayons for arts and crafts. At meron ding sikreto ang crayons na to. And papakita ko sa iyan on my future upload. Next naman are these uh, Crayola watercolor set. I'm curious ako dito kasi I have never used a Crayola watercolor before. Pero so far, magaganda yung ibang products nila, di ba? And I've also seen reviews ng watercolor set na to. And so far, they are all positive. Minsan pa nga, kinocompare pa ang watercolor set na to with a more expensive watercolor set. And so far, positive pa rin yung review nila. So, I decided to get one for myself para ma-experience din ano nga bang meron tong uh, watercolor set na to. So far, I think ito na yung maximum colors na meron ang set na to. So, 24 colors. And if ever may nakita ko yung ibang special colors, do let me know. Just leave a comment. Okay, so for our next item naman, ito, this one is a gift from my sister. And uh, hindi ko akalain na may ganito yung Crayola na watercolor pencil. So, this is also new to me. Kaya ngayon pa lang, sobrang excited na akong... Ano mo yun, magamit tong product na to, tapos ma-share ko yung views and opinions ko regarding this um, Crayola watercolor pencil set. So far, itong set na binigay sa akin is 12 colors, pero sigurado ko meron pa tong other sets na mas marami yung kulay. I'm hoping merong like 48, 52, or 72, or 100 colors pa. Um, I'm just gonna siguro search muna online and see if may available. Alright, so tuloy-tuloy lang tayo and let's move on to the next item. Ito rin, uh, bigay rin to ng kapatid ko sa akin. And this time naman, color pencils pa rin siya pero twistables. Yung lead ng color pencil, nasa loob siya ng plastic casing which looks like a pencil. Tapos ito twist mo lang yung other end. Tapos lalabas yung lead dun sa, sa tip. Ito, makwento ko lang, um, I have used twistable colored pencils before. Actually, isa yun sa mga favorites kong gamitin. But yung brand na meron ako is Tong A. And yung colors na parang yung maximum colors are 10 colors. And gusto kong ba yun ng sobra kasi ang lambot nung lead niya tsaka madali mag-blend. So, ang tanong ko na lang siguro dun, eh, maganda rin kaya itong Crayola na twistable colored pencils or mas maganda ba siya kaysa dun sa Dong A? Um, I think gagawa ko ng comparison video ng dalawa and let's see kung sino talagang mas maganda yung quality, mas madaling i-blend, mas vibrant yung kulay, and all that. So, uh, stay tuned dito sa May Art Life for yung comparison video. Okay, thank you and next! Ito, medyo malaki-laki yung box. Medyo excited na akong patasin niyo kung ano to. Ito yung likod. And it shows you all of the colors na meron tong uh, set na to. And this one is a gift outlet from my sister. And it came from Canada. And these are the colored pencils ng Crayola. And it's a 100 color set. So, 
ah, I think the kapagod to is swatch when it happens and eh, oh, gaano katagal natin to is swatch since it's a hundred dollars. Alright, at ipapakita ko sa inyo. Uy, hala! Okay, so, whew. alright, wala na, last na yun, hindi ko na gawin ulit. Take two, and uh, yeah, pakita ko sa inyo ulit yung lahat ng kulay. And so far, walang nabaling tip, so that's a good thing, di ba? Matibay itong colored pencils na to. Okay, so next naman is itong Crayola markers. And we usually see Crayola markers, marami nang nag-review and gumagamit nito either for arts or arts and crafts. And itong set na to are 64 colors and it's pip squeaks. So, mas maliliit tong markers na to. Okay, so ito yung itsura niya. And much smaller siya dun sa regular Crayola markers. Although guys, hindi ganito yung, yung original na pagkakaayos nun. Uh, medyo na-rearrange ko na siya kasi nalaglag din siya. Just like yung nangyari kanina sa mga colored pencils. Okay, so yan yung uh, Crayola Pipsqueaks natin na 64 color set. Yan, and let's move on to the next one. <laughs> and, oh, medyo mabigat tong isang to. And it's also 64 colors. Pero this time, ito na yung regular Crayola markers. And yung range of colors nito, tsaka marker types, iba kesa dun sa Pipsqueaks kanina. Although they have the same number of markers. Mm -hmm. At dito kung may kita nyo, ang set na to, meron siyang tatlong type ng Crayola markers. Yung regular markers, which is yung washable markers nila, and then gel markers na pwede to sa dark colored paper, at window markers. Um, sumusulat siya sa glass or siguro kahit na anong surface na, ano, na non-porous, pwede itong gamitin. Alright, so let me open the box para mapakita ko sa inyo yung laman dito sa loob ng packaging niya. And here yung putting markers na to. These are the window markers. So there are 8 colors. Tapos, ito naman yung, yung black yung barrel niya. Just yun, 8 colors din. Dalawang, bali dalawang set nung, nung plastic. Ayan yung gel markers. So ito namang apat na boxes. These contain yung mga uh, regular Crayola markers. And as you can see, medyo nirearrange ko na rin siya. Medyo OC lang. Kaso kasi yung magkakaparehong um, tint or shade ng kulay, lahat nasa isang set. Ah, ito pala yung favorite set ko. Yung skin tone set. Ang ganda, ba? Lahat nung kailangan mo for skin tones, andyan na. It's very seldom. Sobrang hirap humanap ng mga markers na merong skin tone set. And this time naman, ito yung mga blues and greens. Maganda to for ano, um, floral pagka, or landscape. Kasi pwede mo rin siyang gawing parang watercolor type. Uh, babasain mo lang siya ng, ano, ng water. Or kung may water brush ka, much better. And nagiging parang watercolor din siya. Iba naman ginagawa, sinusulat sa parang acrylic na plastic or sa glass. Tapos pinipick up nila yung ink from there. Okay, so for our next item, this is so unique for me. And I never knew na ang Crayola ay meron palang fabric crayons. Na, alam mo yun, pwede mo siyang gamitin sa damit yung mga crayons na to. Tapos paplansahin mo. And then, permanent na siya. Nandun na siya sa, sa nakadikit na siya dun sa tela. So, ako naman sobrang amazed. Kasi I've never used anything like this before na yung crayons. Pwede parang fabric paint. And alala, ang galing no concept. And I knew I have to have this. Okay, so next, ito namang Crayola Colored Pencils na 12 color set. And alam ko, nakita niya na kanina. Oo, meron na nga. Yung 100 color set. Actually, itong story nito, eh, yung ate ko, she says na hindi doon niya makita yung Crayola products. So, ang ginawa ko, naghanap pa ko online and nakakita naman ako nung colored pencils. So, nung nakita ko siya doon sa Amspec official store sa Shopee, so, pumili ako nito na, na 12 color na colored pencils just to try it out. Tapos, nung pagdating ng ate ko from Canada, sabay abot niya sa akin, wow, 100 color set. So, wala na, wian na talaga. 
Pero so far, okay din lang naman na nakabili ako nito kahit nagdoble na yung colors. Kasi at least basic colors to. So pag naubos yung basic colors, meron na ako kagad na pagpalit. Saka pang travel set ko na lang tong um, 12 colors. Okay na rin. Okay, and for our last item, but definitely not the least, ay itong um, Crayola Air Marker Sprayer. Ito, sobrang natuwa talaga ako nung binigyan ako ng kapatid ko nito kasi, uh, di ba, meron na nga nung Crayola Markers, yung 64 color set. Tapos, itong uh, Air Marker Sprayer ng Crayola, it works with the Crayola Markers. Although, sabi dun sa ibang mga nag-review na nung item na to, um, pwede ka rin daw gumamit ng ibang markers as long as kakash sa dun sa lalagyan ng pen. And um, yung iba naman, um, gumagamit ng yung mga fine liners, pwede rin daw basta parang gawan mo na lang ng paraan para kumasya sa dun sa barrel ng air marker sprayer. Bali, itong air marker sprayer ng Crayola, meron siyang motor or air pump na disaksak sa kuryente. So, hindi mo na po problemahin yung battery. Plus, uh, mas malakas yung motor niya. Meron na kasing, ano nito eh, uh, version nito before, pero the battery siya. So, yung motor niya, mahina yung buga ng hangin. Pero this time, in-improve nila. So, version 2 na to. Tapos yung set nga pala na to, it has everything that you need. So, magagamit mo na siya kaagad-agad out of the box. Pero so far, as of this time guys, yung box na muna papakita ko sa inyo, uh, hindi ko muna siya bubuksan since naka-fix yung mga items sa loob niya. So, let's leave it for the unboxing. Alright, so stay tuned ha and uh, antabayanan niyo yung unboxing natin itong air marker sprayer. Alright, and so that's it for today's video, and thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Oi, at para nga pala dyan sa mga bago pa lang, or kung hindi ka pa subscribed, I just click on that subscribe button, and please do show your support and click on that like button. I-share mo na rin to sa mga kaibigan mo na mahilig din sa art para lumaki pa ang parkadahan natin dito sa May Art Life. Thank you so much, guys, and you all have a good day, and take care. Bye for now.